I think when you know music theory, you start thinking of music differently. Like, I feel like before I learned chords, chord progressions, melodies, um, I thought of music in a much different way. And now, now that I know that, it's almost like it's moved to the language part of my brain in some ways. Um, which I think there's pluses and minuses to either way. Um, like going off of instinct only is, is good in a way. Cause you're not constantly thinking about like, Oh, what, what chord am I using here? Um, but I think the having a language for what you're doing with chords will will in a way like keep you from imitating others or if you are imitating other people um you're doing it in a way that you know how to do it a little more creatively maybe versus if you don't know music theory you might just be instinctively instinctually ripping off someone else um and not really knowing it <laughs> i don't know mm -hmm. i'm not i don't know if i'm making a good enough case here for music theory but <laughs> no that no that does make sense i wonder too if it's uh i mean do you think it it improves creativity in the sense that knowing music theory for example uh, knowing how to put together a seventh, a seventh chord or like a jazz uh, bridge chord progression, knowing how to do that means that you can actually, you know, do it in a composition compared to if you don't know any music theory, you're kind of playing around in the dark. You're not sure where to go. And the thought of including a, like a jazz influenced bridge in your song will never cross your mind because you, you have no idea how to do it. I mean, do you think music theory kind of lends its hand uh, to more creative ideas? Yeah, I think it definitely does. And yeah, you're exactly right that if you don't, if you haven't heard a major seventh chord, which, I mean, you've obviously heard it, but if you don't know how to play it on piano or something, um, you'll end up just repeating the same style, even though, yeah, you, you might be creative by just messing around constantly, but if you really want to get good at the craft of making chord progressions, um, knowing what kind of cool chord transitions people have done in the past is just gonna, there's no way that's not going to help you be more creative.